Okay, so we're done with Control T or Transform. Let's proceed to the next lecture, which is the brushes. Okay, so there are three ways that I'm going to teach you on how to use the brushes. And the, the first two will be your best brushes that you're going to use in your Photoshop lighting design. Okay, so let's go now and check that one. All right, but before we proceed on that one, please go to your, uh, go and check your resources and please download these two brushes that I just uploaded here as we're going to use this one in our tutorial. Okay, go to your resources tab and download these two brushes collections. All right, so let's go and proceed now. Okay, so this is the Photoshop and we will go and use the brush and the brush tool is this one just type b or just click it here in the brush tool and then once you click it here there is brush tool and pencil and color replacement we're going to use the brush not the pencil and once you do that there's an option here at the top saying what is the hardness and the diameter of your brush so the hardness if it's zero this is very soft okay so let's try this one i'll create a new layer and try it so for example this is my brush let's see how it looks oh this is very soft okay let's make it white color and make it bigger so you will see the uh, effect of the soft the softness so this is a, br a soft brush and if you want to make it hard brush so just drag this lever here to 100% and this is what you will get this is a very hard brush okay so this these are the brushes that you are rarely going to use in your uh, photoshop lighting design because i'm going to give you the real brushes that you're going to use and those brushes are directly from the photometric file okay so go now i hope that you uploaded or downloaded the brushes collections so i'll go and control z this one and these are the collections that i just gave you those are the flares and um my nelcas collections so if you want to upload or use those brushes in your photoshop just click this little arrow and then you will say load brushes and then go to your file where you save my brushes that you just downloaded in our Udemy course. Okay, so I save it in my desktop. So I go to my desktop and then I will load these brushes. Open the file. First, I will load this CB High Resolution Flares. Okay, I will tell you what are those flares and how are you going to use it. So let's load it first and then press load. And then the flares are now here at the bottom of your collections. And let's try to use the flare. So what is a flare? Let's go and discuss what is a flare. A flare is something like this. Where's my flare? Okay. I hope you can see the flare here. It's like the glary effect in the street light, in the post lamp, or do I have a, do I have a big one here? Okay, yeah, this one is a flary effect. You can see those light. And if it's the daytime, you can see that from the, the sunlight. And if you want to use the flare, let's go and try it here. Say, for example, I have a bollard here and it's so glary. And if you want to use the glare as part of your lighting design drama, you can add a flare on that one. Okay, let me just choose one flare here. Let's try this uh, little one here. Okay, so those files, the brushes that I gave you, is very big file. So what you will do is make this one a little smaller because right now it's 2,000 pixels. Just drag the lever here, make it smaller. Yeah, I think this one is fine. So let's say 59% uh, and let's try. Oh, this is so small. Control Z. Okay, let's just make it 166. And let's see how it looks boom look at that it's so flare so flary <laughs> so glary okay let's try another one a little more realistic for a bollard let's try this one and let's make it 170 let's try it here there you go and if you want to make it bigger yeah just make it bigger 
Yeah, so it's now a flary or glary uh, bollard. Okay, so there are lots of collections. Enjoy using your flare, but don't use it sparingly in your design because it means your design is glary. Or just make it a sparkling eff effect like this one, but not too much. And make sure you use it properly. Alright, so the next brush, let's go and load. Okay, so I'm here now at Bega website and we're going to use one of their luminaires. And then we will take the photometric uh, effect of this luminaire in our Photoshop. Okay, so there are something like this one. No, I think I don't like this. Okay, let's try this one. Okay, I like this effect. The one with the up and down lights. And we will select it here. So light emission, 15 degrees. And then let's try this uh, 12 watts. Let's move it up okay i think this is fine sometimes i also get the effect on the floor but this time let's just keep it like this okay uh why we're doing this one is our intention is to get the effect of this luminaire and use this one in our lighting and in, in our photoshop lighting design so let's go now and calculate it and there you go and then when you do this one go and make this uh wall a little more straight as much as possible because we are going to get this uh beautiful effect and use it in our light uh, photoshop design okay and then let's label this one as bega up and down and then say okay and then let's go and use it now in our design so press ff again okay so let's remove this old one that we just created because there's still a white box there so Control z or file step backward and now this one the existing uh, brush that i'm using now is the updated one and you can see the in the, the collection that we have a new brush the code is 1002 actually it depends on your code there but once you created a new one again the new brush will be at the most bottom part of your brush collection okay so let's just decrease the size of this one and let's try it and then look at that it doesn't look so much okay but let's maybe increase the size of this one and then boom okay <laughs> so that's how it goes you can create a lot of brush maybe you can reduce the intensity if you like like perfect i think this one is much better compared to this one okay you don't need to adjust the the, the opacity of this one okay and then if you want to increase again go and increase it like this one all right so i hope you enjoy this one so there are three ways so you can upload your brushes you can create a brush and of course you can use the brush uh, from here in uh, photoshop itself all right so i hope you enjoy in this topic so see you again on the next lecture